Love my brother, so I'm letting him know. Wasn't with me, so I'm letting you go. When it was cold, the righteousness depend on your soul. I Cause she both phone yeah. home in a crisis yeah. Strong melanin, I shine oh, when yeah. the light hit yeah. Align uh. with live timeless Hear the verse and they rewind it My reach yeah. the yeah. widest uh. See the snakes in they disguises Peep the science, yeah. riding Try and find it, supreme timing Keep me climbing to the peak yeah. Horizon in my reach When I was young, I used to speak Was taught to teach Need yeah. a few before I leave Feel the breeze yeah. underneath yeah. My spirit Clean, uh, need the chips and cream. Yeah. Gotta let it, gotta let it breathe. Pull, let the ring yeah. on the better things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on the better things. Gotta let it, gotta let it breathe. Pull, let it ring on the better things. Yeah. Uh, on the better things. Gotta let it, gotta, gotta let it breathe. On the better things. On a better things, 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 on a better things. I'm doing a knockout challenge. I didn't sign up for this. My producer signed me up for this. I'm very nervous. Try to miss, like airball it. Make me look good. Make me look good. Okay. Um, okay. Across town, we wrapped up the weekend with 2K taking center stage. What's your favorite mode to play on? Probably my career. And check out how Zach Levine's game stacks up in 2K22 versus the real world. Up next, every game presents another chance to... Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Beer. David Aldridge will join us momentarily from the sidelines. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You look at the Huskies, they've achieved some upward momentum, climbing to the fifth spot on the board. Well, seeing where this home team is right now, they love the situation they're in right now, playing very well, but looking ahead, they know there's still a lot left to prove. Now the starting group for the visitors. Jackson is out there with Dimes. Then it's G, then there's Red Hot, and it's Ellis at the three. They've got Iverson. Prodigy is out there with Atrium. And it's ABC, and it's Slim in at the small forward position. Well, the season's still in its very early stages, but Brent, how long before some teams decide to shake things up? That's a good question, Kevin. I think it depends on what the expectations of your team are going in. And if you get to the early part of December and you're not seeing the fusion of some of the guys and the play style that you expected after making either an off-season acquisition or uh, the improvement of some of your younger players, I think that's when some of the discussions in front offices start to happen about what kind of movement could happen for our team. And that might be for getting better for the rest of that season or starting to think about the subsequent seasons ahead. Now here's Jackson. Pass to G. Down to five on the shot clock. To the paint. And there's Ellis. That's good on the assist by G. And an efficient start here offensively, working it inside for the easy two. Out to the right wing. Now here's Iverson driving the lane. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. And he gets it to go. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Iverson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Personal foul, first team foul. Oh, the officials are all over that one. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. Free throw good, Iverson. Oh, 
And both free throws good for Iverson. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Dimes the pass to G. Fader on the way. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Iverson, no luck. Gone two for four from the field so far today. Ellis goes in. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. The pass to A train. Iverson outside. Not gonna go that time. Gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. Knocks it loose. Jackson down low. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. Think he's gonna just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Iverson. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. He's gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Ellis outside. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played, pass to Jackson. From outside, off the mark. Iverson with the ball. And he drives in, and Iverson throws it down. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. It from their comfort zone so far in this one, 57% from the field. Now Jackson passes to Dimes. Ellis wide open, good on the three-point shot. Ellis has got seven, and they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Iverson, six points for him. Now the pass to A-Train. Back to Iverson. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Eight points for him. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong one team. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but checking in for the away team. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Big Dog is out there with G. Then there's Buckets, and it's ABC, and it's Davidson, and at the two-guard spot. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Here's Iverson. Harris outside. There's the dish to Iverson. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Pass to Buckles. It's hauled in by Watson. Watson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. A floater, and Harris lays it up and in. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Here's ABC, Iverson covering, and that one, good. ABC's got six. It's a close game here in Minnesota. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. And Iverson gets it to go. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Count that one. That's now eight points for ABC. Just looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Here's Iverson. That one a little long. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look 
at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. And the foul called on ABC. First, that's his first foul. First Ellis is checked in for ABC. Substitution for the away team. On defense, the home team. They trail by one. Iverson with the block. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. The shot's good. Iverson's got six in the quarter. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Here's Buckets. He makes that one drop only a second and five tries. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Iverson outside. And Iverson throws it down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with a sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? ABC passes to Buckets. Shot clock at six. It's hauled in by Perry. Gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. Iverson against Ellis. Fires from deep. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Offensive Two rebound. Minutes. A train. And the layup's good off the glass. Guys, seven times the lead has changed hands here now. Yeah, and that number should easily top double figures before oh, it's over. A chance here to get a quick injury report. At this point, he's saying that it looks like a grade one sprained ankle. Obviously, they can't afford to lose him. This would be devastating for this team. For the team. Good information, David. He's certainly been on our minds. Now, at least, uh, Greg, we have a little more clarity. Yeah, now they have the information they need to take the best course of action. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. Jackson against Iverson. Iverson can't get that one to fall. 45% in quarter number two. Here's Goose. And they convert at last on attempt number three. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Iverson outside. Passes it to ABC. Now here's Iverson, not a lot of room. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Gone six of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Over in the corner, Ellis. It's good from long range. Ellis has got 12 points in the game. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Gone 7 of 14 in the second quarter, shooting to the tune of 50%. The pass to Dimes. Here's Goose, and it's denied! Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's ABC, up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the put back. Here's Dimes. No points in the game yet for him. Takes a three. And they get it back. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Leading by just two. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what was your impression? Well, they were lighting it up from three. 
and that was the difference in the first half. They did a good job of running off screen, spotting up, and getting rid of the ball quickly. And their shot selection, solid. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. It's to Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. When you look at ABC in this game, he's been everywhere. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. And you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. A-Train is out there with the Prodigy. And it's ABC, and there's Slim, and it's Iverson in at the point. Pass to ABC. Iverson against Jackson. ABC passes to Iverson. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Team ball. Greg, you've got a unique view of the league, not just a former player, but great broadcaster, courtside all these games, but also as a father. What's that journey been like? It's been surreal, Kevin. You know, anytime you have a child that has a passion for something you're passionate about, it creates a, a special bond. And to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible. And what a blessing. Uh, I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity. Dimes is out there with Jackson. Then there's Red Hot. Then it's G. And it's Ellis at the small forward. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. Here's Gary. It's blocked. On the wing, Iverson. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Here's Jackson. Can't hit from 12. In a superb 63% from the field. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Iverson, and the dunk by Iverson. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Gone one of three since starting the second half. Here's Dimes. Ellis outside. to shoot. Nine feet out, and the call will be against Red Hot. That'll be his second foul of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution on the court. At the line for your home team. One shot. gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6-13 from the field here in the third. Has to G. I mean, I like the call. First I thought the defense foul. was just there. A little late. Foul. First trip to the line for him here. Two shots. That one misses. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Iverson passes to Watson. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. 
to the middle. Here's Davidson, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Oh, and he takes it right at the man who just scored on him. <laughs> That's the way to answer back with an in-your-face stuff. Passes it to A-Train. Iverson outside. Kicks it to Watson. Iverson outside to the left wing. There's the drive. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Leading by eight. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. Fourth. quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Slim is out there with A-Train. Then it's Iverson, then it's ABC, and it's Watson in at the center position. Here's Dimes. Doesn't go that time. And here is Iverson. Driving inside. That one goes. Count it. Iverson's got 24. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Jackson passes to Dimes. Now here's Ellis. And Jackson with the basket on the assist by Ellis. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. The three from Iverson. The long-distance three is buried.